Welcome back to Central New York's Open House. Well, today we're here at the WIBX studios with Keeler in the morning. We're getting ready to go on air, talk a little bit about windows, and make a special announcement about the New York Sash Teddy Bear Toss. Hard to believe, but we're already talking about... Uh, I mean, summer is gone before you know it. We're already talking about uh, the teddy bear toss. Um, it's that time of year. It is that time of year. Time flies, right? Time flies, and it's time to start taking care of your home. Uh, we get the kids back to school. That's always a big part of this time of year. Um, you start a little bit early to uh, start training the children to make sure that they can get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. You're right. You line up the lunch boxes. You get everybody all set back to school shopping, but it's also time to start looking around your home and saying, well, what do I have to do for this winter sure. to uh, to make myself more comfortable during the heating season? And to make sure that you're probably, I'm assuming, efficient and uh, making sure that you're saving money and continue to save money. That's all important stuff. Well, that's, that's one of the um, most important parts mm -hmm. of home improvement projects is energy efficiency, um, especially in our area, cold winters, Blazing hot summer. We've had a great summer, and you want to keep that cold air conditioned air in mm -hmm. your home. And then once we get to the winter time, you want to make sure that you're nice and cozy. Um, so that is a big part of uh, most home improvement projects in our area. In addition to um, the energy efficiency, there's also the ease of operation. You know, you and I have talked about mm -hmm. that. And yep. when you're cleaning your windows, I mean, if you have a window that's painted shut now, there's you're going to have a heck of a time cleaning the outside. But if you have a window that just tips in for easy cleaning, or if you're trying to design a look for the aesthetics, so there are other um, well, reasons. Look at, look, look, what, what, on our the front of our house, when we had our windows down, the front mm -hmm. of our house had these narrow little windows that went across the um, that went across the front. There were I don't know twelve or thirteen of them, and uh, if we would have put a bow window there or anything else, it would have changed the look. But you guys were able to come up with something and design something that fit, looked like the old windows but so much better than uh, certainly the old windows. Well, technology today has advanced um, so much that we can customize a look to look like the old fashioned. Um, that's what you wanted to do. You wanted to replicate a look in your front porch. Um, you know, vinyl replacement windows uh, kind of got a, a bad rap years ago because they looked boxy and they were bright white. and the color didn't really match up with the colors nowadays. Yeah. Now you have a soft white color, um, and you can customize these windows, and with the grid patterns that you had a specialty grid look, mm -hmm. you can really bring back that old traditional colonial look of a home and still have the energy efficiency. And our grids are the, the raised grids. Just like the old-fashioned raised Just grids. Just like the, the, yep. you would not know, other than the fact that they're pristine, it's, and they remain that way. And they always will. And they always will. All right. Uh, okay, so what should people be doing to prepare? Um, it is, you know, I hate to say, but before you know it, we had a little taste of it on Monday. Temperatures in the 70s. Overnight, lows got down into the 40s. Uh, what, what should people do? Um, well, you want to inspect all of your windows. Um, make sure that they're properly sealed and caulked. Um, if they don't properly operate, maybe you want to look into replacing your windows. Um, maybe you don't want to put the plastic back up again this year. Um, there are other options. That stuff works and, so well. I don't know why you wouldn't want to do it. And it looks nice. Too. Yeah. I, I, especially put the, <laughs> the hair dryer on it. It kind of bubbles out. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Not really. And you're, you guys are doing a 50% off installation right now through the end of the month. Right now, um, it's going on until Labor Day. So we are going to carry it right until Labor Day. And, and the showroom is open on Labor Day. Okay. So on Monday, we'll be open uh, from 9 to 2. And we encourage everyone to stop down, take a look at everything that we have on display, um, schedule an appointment, and to see if it will fit into their budget this year to get new windows for their home. And Teddy Bear Toss, you guys, it's a family thing for you guys every year uh, with the Utica College Hockey. The Teddy Bear Toss is a big part of our holiday celebration, mm -hmm. as it is with uh, WIBX. And Toy Drive, we, the whole we, nine yards. We partner up each yep. and every year, mm -hmm. and I'm proud to say that we're partnering up again this year with Utica College and WIBX, and we are um, announcing the Teddy Bear Toss game, the date. We have the date confirmed from Coach Heenan, and that's going to be Saturday, December 17th to Saturday night, Ooh. and we are going to be playing Morrisville. I love – I have to confess something – 
all these holiday celebrations happen, and a lot of times it comes early. Too early I right? love the later date. I yeah, because you're right to, in the Christmas it's spirit. Close to Christmas. Yeah, so people can be thinking about it. They're gonna. That's that's because there's been sometimes you've had to do it early, much earlier than that. Yeah, we've had to do it. Yeah. A, f- a few weeks earlier than yeah. that. Once um, he did it in July, I'm like, it doesn't it was, make sense. Yeah, it didn't. It really didn't. They don't even the, play the ice in July. July. <laughs> yeah. It was a tough, Weird. It was a tough. They got four bears that year. <laughs> <laughs>